Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the SQLize ORM with Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to use the SQLize ORM with Node.js and the MySQL. Okay, so you need to install the SQLize and the MySQL too. So let's install this one first. So here we go with the terminal. So we'll use the previous project. So haven't checked this one so you can just go the installation and everything okay so this is done so what would be the next so there is a CLI also for creating the generating the migrations models or the series folder into your directory so how you can do that just you have to go with this one okay yes so here you can see that successfully created the models okay so there is sequelized tutorial models migrations and the seeders okay so this is how we are able to create now config.json part is also created okay so this command is basically generate the config migrations models and seeders okay so you can here you can just uh, make the sequelized configuration like this also okay dialect is mysql and then there is a model over here then you if you want to generate the model okay with the terminal then you can also use this part also okay and then you can migrate the same okay so this is basically in the you can say that uh, terminal part so if you want to do the connection part with the node.js part you need to just do one more thing that is here we have a postgres just used to add the mysql over here dialect is mysql and here to change the database part so i will show you how to change let me go to my database localhost php slash add minor and just here i will just use php my admin okay so i will choose any of the database okay so for now test db i will use the test db the customers is here so i will use rest api section also rest api 2 is there so i will use the rest api database and my username is php my admin rest of the thing is would be the same okay the local host and the sequelized test connection would be the same test the database connection okay then we have the defining the model the customer this is also the same and sequelize synchronize the model if the database is not if the table is not there it will create that one okay so the database synchronized and then we have example to create a new user so for the time being we will not commenting this one let's check that the rest of the part is creating or not okay so save this and try to run over here Now you can see database synchronized. Let's see tables are created, customer is created. Okay, you can see that the table is there. And now if I want to create the new user over here to just suggest I will do the uncommenting this part. Let's create that one also. Okay, now you can see user is created. Let's see. Now you can see that the one record is inserted. Okay so this is how we are able to do that so let's understand the code step by step so we have a sequelize okay then this is the connection instance sequelize ins create a sequelize instance over here then we have a test the connection to how to test this sequelize authenticate then console.log connection to the database has been established if any error it will go unable to connect to the database okay let me wall wrap this also now we have to define the model defining the model is user customer first name last name and the email by default they have the created and updated at okay next we have the synchronize the model so if the table is not created or doesn't exist it will create that one sequelize dot sync okay database synchronized and then error synchronizing the database okay then we have a users to create that one just dummy user so we will create that otherwise it will throw the error error for correct creating the user so this is the you can use the node shares sequelize orm with mysql 
any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day